I would say the best advice I can give to aspiring composers is think like a storyteller, not a composer, as soon as possible. The sooner you realize that that you are telling a story with a group of people and not by yourself, um, the better and speak the language of film because it's very different than writing a concerto or a symphony. It's our purpose as film composers is to tell a story um, and and relate and allow audience to relate to character. And, and that's really what I do. And that's quite honestly the most fun part of the process. So so I remember coming out of school and, and feeling very, you know, mired in, in things like instrumentation and orchestration and things like that. But in, in reality, that's that those are just tools, the, to, the tools to get to the real job, which is which is telling a story. So my relationship to BMI is 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 really goes back to the beginning. Uh, I was lucky enough to be signed to BMI while I was still in college because I ended up having lunch with Doreen Ringer Ross, who, you know, basically adopted me. Um, and I had no family in Los Angeles and I didn't know anyone in the business. And uh, I was a senior at USC and she took me under her wing and brought me onto BMI, gave me advice and, and introduced me to mentors like Michael Kamen and Basil Paul Doris. Um, and, and was an endless and relentless promoter of my career and supporter of what I do. And, 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 you know, and then later on was joined by Ray Yi, who, and this is not going to happen to everybody with BMI, but Ray Yi ended up introducing me to my wife. Uh, I can't promise that that will happen, but, uh, but BMI has really been integral to my entire career journey. Uh, almost every positive thing that's happened, I can sort of track back to, to some sort of BMI connection. Um, you know, even even to Alan Menken and to to uh, so many others, um, and so I really I really am so grateful for how they treat their artists and how they treat their composers, uh, the programs they run, like the uh, you know the conductors workshop where Lucas Richmond you know taught me how to conduct and let me conduct a Jerry Goldsmith piece in front of Jerry Goldsmith. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just such an amazing organization, and I just I so appreciate how they've, you know, supported me along the way and opened up so many doors and and let me really be the composer I wanted to be and then just sort of supported that. So um, I'm very, very grateful. When I think about legacy and what, what I hope my legacy might be, um, I think it probably comes down more to my relationships with people um, than even my music. Um, I think it has to do with my friendships, hopefully, um, both in and out of the business. Hopefully, it's mentorships. I had two parents who were both teachers, um, and and I, I I think teachers are the most important, have the most important job in the world. And and I was blessed to have amazing teachers and mentors um, in my career as I was learning, and, and I'm hoping that I, I've been able to pass some of that along to people who have worked for me and people who have collaborated with me um, in a way that maybe helps them find their own legacy. Um, I hope that maybe I've also affected the business and, you know, the world in a, in a way that that's positive, um, whether it be, you know, working with, with some of the organizations I work with that, um, that deal with music education and, and um, places like Hands Together in Haiti and, and how we were able to do some work uh, there after the earthquake. But I, I think more than anything, you know, it's leaving the world uh, a better place and, and touching people along the way and, and leaving a mark that, that maybe allows them to also have a more joyful life and, and a more, you know, rich experience and, and helping others and, and inspiring others. Um, and that's what I think music can do. That's what, definitely what I think education can do. Um, and we're so blessed to literally have a career writing music um, that most people dream of and that my guidance counselor didn't actually think was a real job. Um, and the fact that I get to do this every day and they pay me and then I get to help others learn how to do it too and 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 be a part of that is is just, you know, it's a blessing. And, you know, and, and that's it. That That's 
that's the real part of a legacy, I think. Mm-hmm.